With the release of Modern Horizons 2 and the amount of fetch lands that are out there, a storm is brewing. A fetch land storm? Hey guys, welcome back. MTG Moxman here. If you're new to my channeling or somehow find me out there in the wild west world of YouTube, well, thanks a lot for deciding to check out my content today. Smash that subscribe button. Join in the fun. We are going to have a blast today. Welcome to the storm. The Fetchland storm. How is it feeling, guys? I am walking around. I'm seeing Fetchlands falling out of people's pockets. I'm seeing binders full of Fetchlands. I'm seeing fetch lands, I think, falling from the sky. I'm pretty sure I saw Misty Rainforest just fall from the sky, just out of nowhere. Guys, fetch lands are everywhere right now. It's on the top of people's minds, which leads you to believe there are a lot of fetch lands out there. There is and there isn't. Let's be honest. There is because so many seem to be appearing inside these Modern Horizons 2 boxes. I mean, so many are appearing that it makes you think, makes you think, that they're all out there. You check eBay prices. Oh my goodness, are those prices dropping? Nice. A lot of players I know are starting to grab some fetch lands and hold on tight. I know a lot of my patrons and viewers are like, hey, fetch lands are cheap right now. I'm going to grab right now. Smart move. I'm going to tell you right now, it's a smart move. If you need them, beautiful to have. If you want them just for a deck, you know, to rotate decks, beautiful to have. If you want to make money, beautiful to have because I want you guys to remember something this fetch land storm you're seeing right now it is big I'm not gonna lie I myself on the live stream we opened a few fetch lands just out of some some of these collector boxes man uh, collector sorry the pre-release boxes it was crazy I've seen more fetches than these than I saw in a whole bunch of my <laughs> other boxes I've opened it's been insane looking forward to it love knowing that it's there but this also lends me to believe that a lot of people are not going to sell their fetch lands. There are a lot who will, but there is even more who won't. And I know for a fact, stores that are getting fetch lands on the cheap right now, because the price is like almost half the price, they're not selling them back into the market, guys. They're holding them, which is the smart move. This dip you're seeing, this big, this big decline from so many hitting the market. And some people are like, I don't need this fetch land. I wanted this, this, and this. I'm going to trade in. You're right, you're going to trade, you're going to get them. But there are lots of people who needed those fetch lands who aren't getting them right now. They're looking for them. They're trying to buy them on eBay, TCG Player, other platforms, but stores, they're being smart. They're holding on because this temporary flush, five card stud, and you just see all Misty Rainforest all the way through. You see all the great ones, man. Scalding Tarn times five. They're not going to last, guys. They're going to get bought up, beaten up, taken up, eaten like piranha, and they are just going to be gone. Gone. The way I'm seeing it, the price is this low. It can't stay that way. I want to show you something here. Let me just show you something. So here we have Misty Rainforest right now. As of yesterday, you could get a Misty for 50 bucks Canadian. 50 bucks Canadian. That's crazy. Okay? Now... Back in March, only a few months ago, 84 bucks was the going rate, Canadian, for a fetch land of the Misty Rainforest caliber. It was amazing. Now they bring out Modern Horizon 2 fetch land and you see it for 50 bucks. You don't think people aren't going to buy it? You don't think speculators are going to hammer home and take these things? They're going to take them in droves. They're going to shove them in binders. They are going to liquidate this market. They're just going to take it all. Flush some cash down to people's hands and say, here you go, I want those cards. Because remember, fetch lands are used everywhere. Fetch lands are the closest thing you have to money in Magic. They're just liquid. Stores need them, players need them. Everyone wants a fetch land. Come on. We all want, you know, better lands, like, you know, like dual lands. Don't get me wrong. Hold the line, right? But you still need to have those fetch lands around for so many decks that you're creating. And with these prices being as low as they are, there are people who are going to take advantage the storm we're seeing right now, this flushness, with so many fetches everywhere I look, it's not going to stay. What ends up happening, I believe, is when the second wave comes out of Modern Horizons 2, they'll print more, right? When it comes out, it won't have as much, guys. I order, I, I open Modern Horizons a lot. I open probably in every wave they put out. 
and each successive wave seemed to have less of the good stuff. Less Pact Negation, less Hex Drinkers, Renin Six, even Sarah the Benevolent. They all became harder to get. A lot more chaff seemed to be in there. I think Wizards does an amazing run like this. They're like, ha, here it is. Look at all these great cards. So don't go back in a year from now thinking you can get these first run boxes that are so flush with product that you're going to be, yeah, no. I don't think that's the way it works. I have no proof of this, by the way. None whatsoever. I'm just a guy who sits here hoarding magic. I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I an investigator. It doesn't happen. This is an entertainment channel for entertainment purposes. But that's what I believe happens. That's my tinfoil hat theory I got on my head right now. Put it on. Because I've seen it happen too many times in future waves of products where I just don't seem to get the good stuff. I, I can't understand why. I'm a pretty lucky guy. Meanwhile, this first wave, I opened some pre-release kits and I'm just bombarded with amazing cards. I opened a couple of packs and I'm just slammed with this amazing stuff. Guys, it can't stay this way. People are going to take all these fetch lands. I thought the dip was going to happen 30 to 60, 90 days out. No, it's happening in probably the next four weeks. This four week period is probably going to be it. We're going to have successive waves of come of stuff come out in, um, in the collector boosters. When those collector boosters hit the market, when they're out there, and all those fetches come in and there's a mass influx of all the fancy art, high-end foils that the really, the really creme de la creme rich players want to grab. After that happens, that, that is when it's all over. Because they'll trade up some cards. Maybe they'll just buy them flat out, but that'll be the end. And those cards will start etching back up by the look of it. That's what I see happening. It's kind of freaky to think about. But when so many people were depending on some fetch lands, and it looks like there is a lot out there. I've seen multiple get opened all over the place. It's crazy. I'm not seeing a lot of bad stuff I saw in one or two of those early release openings. I'm hearing a lot of good things. I myself have opened a lot of good cards. It really makes me think this is a superior product at the moment. It's definitely not. It's definitely not Double Masters. I got slammed in Double Masters. I hated the product, I hated the VIP, because nothing good really came of it. With fetch lands, some good cards in this set, this is a well-desired set, guys. Wizards has done a good job so far. I like what I've seen. I hope it stays this even throughout. I don't think it will, but I hope it will. And it gives chances for players to actually get their hands on some fetch lands. Good on Wizards printing them right now at this quantity, letting players who may not have had the chance to buy them really get a chance to get in there and get themselves a play set of some fetch lands. Wizards, way to go, man. I'm going to give you a thumbs up on this, Wizards. I don't like the price, but I like seeing this many fetch lands because it's going to trickle down to players who might really need them. At least I hope it will. I hope that was the intent because I like it. But on the second hand, I know Wizards, I know you guys, now you've seen you've done this well on a product and you've seen the numbers coming in, you're going to jack up prices next year on whatever new glorified product you put out and that makes it scary for me. Ah, I don't like that. All right, guys, this is MTG Moxman. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Leave me some comments, some thumbs up. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I want to know if you're happy with what you've seen so far. It really matters, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is MTG Moxman. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. We're going to have a great one, guys. What a fun week this is going to be. Can't wait to see you all there. Have a great one. So many fetch lands. So many. Good job, Wizards. You're suckering us in, but good job. Hey guys, big shout out to all my patrons out there, guys. We we did it, man. You guys helped me get there. The viewers, the patrons, the support. Guys, it's amazing. Patrons, thank you so much. You guys, thank you. Everyone, thank you. I made 5,000 subscribers. What am I supposed to do now? I, I don't know. Is the show over? Is there a sequel to 5,000? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Just a little something for you guys out there. Happy 5,000 subscribers, Daddy. That's right, you heard him! 
Hail to the king, baby.